Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see analyze reports in Microsoft 365 Defender. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. All right, I am logged on to the portal. I'll go and click on home inside the Defender portal. It will load up. So the reports blade in the Microsoft 365 Defender portal provides access to all the available reports for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and Microsoft Defender for Office 365. There is one security report which uh, view the information about security trends and track the protection status of the identities, data devices, apps and infrastructure. So if I'll go here and look for reports. So if I click on security report, It will load up the identities and mention the user at risk. I have no data to show because this is my lab tenant, but it will show you all the data with the DLP policy matches, false positive of DLP devices with the ASR rule detections. ASR rules are, are on an audit only mode and what all devices are blocking the detections and what all threat analytics you see which we discussed in the last video. So if you would go on to the report again. These are related to endpoints which is, which is threat protection which show us the details about the security detections. Device health. It will show the report for uh, monitor the health state, antivirus status, operating system platforms etc. Then we have vulnerability devices which shows us the information about the vulnerable devices in the organizations, including their exposure to vulnerabilities by severity level, exploitability, age and more. And then it comes to web protection as well. Get information about the web activity, web threats detected within the organization. We have the firewall reports. Which views the connections blocked by the firewall including related devices, why they were blocked and which ports were used. I don't have anything integrated that's why you're not seeing anything. You have device control reports, you have attack surface reduction, reduction rules as well which shows the information about detections, misconfiguration and suggested exclusions in the environment. So if you see the detected file you click on it. I have some data because of the simulations that I read. Possible exclusions and impact. It will exclude a file if you believe it is being detected incorrectly. So I can set the exclusion. Click on here. It will take me to endpoint.microsoft.com which is my Microsoft Intune Admin Center. I can have the exclusion here as well. All right. Then you have email and collaboration reports which is your uh, Microsoft recommended actions to help improve email and collaboration security. Same way that you had for device control, uh, device health compliance, threat protection, web protection, firewall. Right? If you would check reports in your prod environment, you would see much uh, exhaust data or enormous data that you can navigate through and see the reports accordingly. Right, so you have managed schedules, the reports for download, which are download one of one or more of your reports. So I have I don't have any reports that can be downloaded because I don't have any data. If you want to download any specific report, you come unto reports for download under reports on your Microsoft 365 Defender portal and you will be able to download. Okay, I hope this was uh, informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.